my real ones, my real ones, my real ones. Run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones. Coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones. I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, my real ones. My real ones, my real ones, run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones, I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, my real ones. You all gonna have to go to jail, you gonna have to do time. When you jump off the porch, you should know I'm gonna have to do life in prison, I'm gonna die in the street. If as long as you have those things understood, it's all love. The nigga who think he ain't gonna go to prison, the nigga who think he ain't gonna die, that's the snake that you gotta worry about. Oh no, ain't it ain't gonna happen to me. How ain't gonna happen to you? Both of us is on the same fucking assembly line belt, assembly belt, heading to the fucking furnace. Ain't no way off this. How the fuck is you gonna get off? Oh shit, I got me away. Hold oh, on, my nigga. By the code, I got the book right here, dog. The code say we supposed to live and die by this code, and we're going to live and die in the street. We get a lot of hoes, have fun, drugs, sex, money, but we're going to, there it is, see right here on page nine. We're going to either be killed in the street or die in prison. There it is. The only way out of that is to get out of the street. We have to get off the assembly. How are you going to be in the street on the assembly belt but not face one of these fates? Right here on page 12, it say the only, only people who get out free and with their life is informants. Hey, yo, Trey. Let me out, man. Let me out. Let me the fuck out. To the Big Facts Podcast, I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement, and this is. I hope that ain't showing. Fuck this shit though. Are you fucking serious? Uh, we just had a situation in Battle Rap. I'm not sure if a lot of y'all are up to date on Battle Rap. I've been watching Battle Rap since uh. Of course, we watched Battle Rap when it was on top of, uh, what was that, Fight Club with that dude, 60, like the dude with the braids and shit like that, when Jen was in there and he got destroyed. And we thought Jen was the best ever because Jen came from 106 and Park when AJ and Free was on there, when Freestyle Friday was a real fucking thing. And um, then he went in a Fight Club and Sears Jones beat him. That was... It's so embarrassing because he, then he tried to freestyle and it just didn't work and it's like but you got to respect them motherfucker because they do shit that not a lot of people can do that whole talking aggressive in another man's face and nigga being able to pull all type of shit out um as we just saw with um fuck was it mook and briz um but they didn't fight because of that. They didn't fight because Bree is... And I, I might need to speak on that, that whole Tay Rock not helping in that situation. Um, but right now, I ain't trying to confuse y'all because y'all might not be on this. But um, what happened? What's going on is a dude named Idy Boom in Battle Rap um, that uh, went to prison while in prison. Danny Myers got on Anger Fan Radio and said... Uh, said that Surf 
Ida Boone told him that he had ghost writ, wrote for Surf and shit like that, and that was Danny Myers' angle on the radio on a cap show against. Y'all better calm down in there. That was uh his angle against Surf on the radio, whatever like that. Um, nobody would battle Danny, Danny Myers because um, they're scared of him. Um, and then with battle rap, it's all about your stock and shit like that. Tay Rock once again uh, just had a, a a real big scare that a a battler that isn't of his stature with him being the top of the URL. If someone lower down the line, like we might even say Eel Wheel, you know what I'm saying? Somebody like that. Rum Nitty, if they got caught into a scandal like that with that, that uh, transgender shit, then that, that would have destroyed their career. But with him, it's so much pushback, like, nigga, this shit ain't true. He got so many cosigns, you know, people like Surf and, you know what I'm saying, of course, the URL style. You know what I'm saying? They're battling against that shit. You know what I mean? So it it's really politics that go into this battle rap shit. It's not about who's the best battler no more. Because if it was... I believe Rum Nitty, Av, even though Av had a situation, which I thought that was bullshit. I might need to speak on that Av situation. That whole nigga was stealing bars and shit like that. Nigga, you got all these fucking leads. Well, they said it was a, it was some shit he should have knew, but Av come with so much creative shit, it don't seem like he's the type of person to plagiarize. But, um, you know, with the Cassidy shit, oh, it's so much shit that a nigga just, you know what I'm saying? Um... Man, you know, because that whole Cassidy bullshit, why in the fuck would you throw goods in there with them to where it, like, it's like y'all wanted it to be a fucking debatable. Like, why the fuck when you put Al, Eel Wheel, Rum Nitty, Danny Myers, you know what I'm saying, put anybody in there and they'll fucking destroy him. That shit is crazy. Jack Boy Maine, it, New Jersey twerk, you know what I'm saying? Drugs, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Ride up. Nigga. Somebody who can rap. I wouldn't say Cortez because even though Cortez can rap, but it just seemed like it'll be more of a debatable. Like put somebody in there who's gonna kill him. And it would have been cheaper. But um battle rap come with politics, man. It's not about who the best rapper is, it's about your stock. Um and can you get people in the building? And it seems like as a battle rap culture, you should push forward the people who rap the best, but that's not what happens. You know what I'm saying? They continue to give T-Rex opportunities just because of his legacy. Uh, Verb has destroyed Mook and Lux. I, but I, I, I fuck with Lux. Just, he's just... I hated that when he lost that battle to Mook, man. I really did. Even though, you know, you gotta fuck with Mook because he's the champion until he met Verb. Um... And then there's a whole conversation about that, about the reason why Mook and Lux and all of them are undefeated and have the records that they have is because they don't battle as much as the new age battlers do. They have to battle like they battle. So, of course, you're going to take losses. Um, and it does seem like Mook's style is outdated. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you... You know what I'm saying? With this whole every bar is a fucking retarded ass fucking punchline. Like this shit has went up so many levels. You know, I think the the way I got back into battle rap was because when I was doing music, this was I was probably twenty five. That shit went so fast. Twenty five and my cousin was trying to get me to Stop trying to be so lyrical and just make music how I made it and shit like that. And you're like, man, if you want to fucking be lyrical, listen to this nigga. And it was Loaded Looks. And I'm listening to this nigga like, what the fuck? The most I would do is maybe a, a, a two-bar setup. These motherfuckers are doing every fucking bar is a fucking punch. And that bitch is heavy. Punches coming from nowhere on the third ball, first ball. Fuck the fourth ball. I'll come back on the, you know what I'm saying, out of an eight ball setup. I'll come on the fifth ball, sixth ball, seven ball, and let the eight ball, like, it's fucking retarded. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I got back into it uh, and, and saw what was going on. 
Um, and it's, just, it's really like you, you battling at a very high level. They like, you know what I'm saying? They like the dude who go on Vlad and motherfucker think it's a joke in the game. That motherfucker is so fucking deep. Man, Mike P and um, Mike P and Tink the Demon. Man, dog. And then when Mike P battled Daylight, Daylight came back and did the whole Street Fighter scheme against him. Like, that shit was heavy, man. That shit was heavy. Um, But, still going too far, but it's like you gotta explain all this shit to, to understand where we're at now. Pure point blank, what's going on is Adi Boom went to jail. Danny Myers uh, let it be known on Angel Fans Radio that Adi Boom had wrote for Surf for that gladiator, some gladiator shit, gladiator school when he was battling daylight. And um, so that's how Adi Boom name got thrown into the mix. Adi Boom was locked up for I don't know what the fuck. But then Adi Boom gets out, he's doing interviews and shit like that, and then he has his first battle on RBE Rare Breed Entertainment that's ran by um that nigga um ARP and um you should look at ARP if you just come into this battle rap shit look at ARP and smack as their rivals you know what I'm saying like it's been times where ARP has an, announced his event somewhere and then the URL have made their event right next to his in that same city so if he go to Houston and and do a uh and and, and have a battle down that bitch on 6th Street, the nail goes, uh, we, we'll have a battle on, on 6th Street. Uh, at the same, like, close same time and shit like that. Right across the street. Like, they're trying to disintegrate the business. Like, they're trying to kill the competition. Um, but they're, they're rivals. Uh, but they try to make it seem like it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not really beefing. But it's really beef, obviously. Then you got uh, KOTD. Um, and it's other motherfuckers. Uh, but that's the only really three I... KLTD is like white folks battle rap and shit. Like what nerds battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, but here it go. And then like when people from URL go over there to KOTD, it's like they just go over there just to get the money and shit like that. I think that shit's in Canada, but it's like a, it's west because disaster was like the face. Ain't it Canada based or some shit like that? But here the thing, listen, man. Uh, I did boom come out first battle. He got uh, big K. Should that shit just come. His first battle is big K. Okay. Get out of bed. Get out. Get out. Get out, baby. Y'all ain't allowed in there no more. Y'all want to pee on the floor? Y'all ain't allowed in there no more. If I ain't there, y'all ain't in there. Of course. Well, I can look at it at least. But, um... So... He come out, his first battle is, uh, don't go in that room. Come here, Aki. Come here. Don't go in that room. Come here. Come here. Now, uh, so his first battle is with Aki. Don't go in that room. Come here. His first battle is with Big K. Said it was something in the paper about him. His next battle was going to be DNA or some shit like that. Obviously, after this information came out, uh, DNA backed out. Really don't know why DNA in the street. Rapper, he's always been like the... It was. It's an infamous bar he has. Uh, he said, uh, I'll spray you with the machete. All right, so he don't, really don't put that much emphasis and what he says. I guess he was freestyling. Aki. Yeah, 
guess he was freestyling or some shit like that, but that kind of put him out of being like a real lyricist saying shit like that. Um, so, um, but he's known as somebody like a, a comical rapper or some shit. He's not really taken serious like somebody like, you know, Tay Rock or Geechee Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe what you're saying. I really believe you do that shit. Calico, um, Arsenal, Ill Will. I believe you. I believe that you really do some of this shit. And that's a, a big thing. Like, believability. Like, authenticity. Can I believe? Do I believe that you're really that person? K-Shine. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know why he had to back out when it came out. The paperwork came out that Idy Boom had snitched. So, I did boom snitch. He told. And the way that he told. Let's get down to the meat of the whole situation. I was giving you all that just to let you know that I, I you know, have been up to par on what's going on in Battle Rap. Um, but. I did boom. Um, goes into a house. They rob some niggas. Whatever the fuck. Got a home invasion. He get five years. The other co-defendant get 13. Another one get 15, if I'm not mistaken. He gets a significantly slighter sentence than them. Um, lighter sentence than them. And it's not too many ways that you can make that happen. There's only one way to make that happen. Um, the You know, yes, you know, Police play dirty games at times and shit like that, but not when it's on in, in court. The games are already been played by the time you're in court. Um, they play dirty games by, you know, telling you, yeah, you already told us that, you know, you're the one that had the gun. It was a nickel plate nine. You were the one that shot. You shot two times. We know what happened. We know what you guys were planning before you got there. You were drinking a sun kissed. He told you, you were talking about your girlfriend, Rwanda. You know, he's already told us what happened, man. The only uh, the only ass still on the line here is yours. So, you know, you can help us out or, you know, you'll do the next 25. And it's so much realer. It's so much more real when you're sitting in that room and you don't know what they've isolated you from the people that you did that with. So it's not no, my nigga, we finna stay strong. They know that you have to divide and conquer. Split niggas the fuck up and we going to put, we'll take the information that we have already gotten and tell them that we got the information from one of the, uh, one of uh, his people. Come here. So it ain't, it's not nothing. It, it's like I said, it is. It, there's no winning in the street. I just made a post um, yesterday. I said, uh, uh, "Being a street nigga is like being is like uh, being a super saiyan." Um, and at the final level, final stage of street nigga, you realize that you can't be a street nigga anymore. It's rigged. There's no way that you can win. You can, you know, like you know, it's, it's like. A video game, like you hit the wall, you you didn't you didn't test it this whole map. There's no way out. There's no way to win. The zombies are just gonna keep coming. The only thing that you have is bragging rights to say that you got to the thirty second level, but nobody wins. There's not even a win. And and you know, uh, you know, well back in the day, you know, there's a uh, there's a guy who you know uh, he he won, man. Uh, you know so. Oh, uh, Dusty Robinson and shit like that. Come on, my nigga. Niggas, it's been a long fucking time since niggas won. And even if it was niggas who won, it wasn't niggas at this level. We're not going to reach that level of dope. They not going to let us. The street ain't going to let us. They set up a, 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 a fucking fortress in the street. For every fucking corner of the block, they have an informant. Too much information. We don't move without cell phones. You would have to be a CIA agent, a debunked CIA agent, to come down this bitch and actually be able to sell dope. 
So us, the regular niggas who was hooping or, and playing football, or nigga, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm a, I'm a goddamn, I'm a trick baby, now, I'm a project baby. What the fuck? You never been on a plane? I messed my surroundings. My nigga, are you serious? You don't know what the city hall look like. You think you messed your surroundings because you don't go where the white people at? I know how to move. Man, my nigga. Um, I only move with enough, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I only move with enough that I can swallow. If, if it's more than what I can swallow, I don't ride with it. So how the fuck are you going to ever be up here? Like, you're going to always be a, 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 a nickel and dime ounce type of nigga. And, it, and, and like we were just saying, like, you go to the crap game every night. And then you just blow when the fuck you lose all your money. My nigga, you've been going every night. The chances are that you are going to lose. If he hasn't been to jail, then he's a fucking informant. There's no way. There's no way. You're not going to play this game without getting nicks. My, and if you get a nick, if you get bruised, if you get a wound that had to, that had to uh, heal... It's so fucking ugly, a wound that you almost died from, like you lucky. Dog. This game destroys people, man. On the inside, I'm not talking about the smokers and all. No, my nigga, I'm talking about the nigga kicking in the doors for other jack boy, the takers. You start playing at a level. To where you can get the dunk with the rims on that bitch and, and you'll only live that life for about six months and it's over with. Because as soon as a nigga say, like niggas think that shit funny, nigga eating a banana. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. You think that's funny. You think it's funny. You think every nigga out here posing to be real is just real? No, that nigga, he, he wouldn't do that. He, he don't want to be looked at as a hater. He killed two birds with one stone. He working his time off and he getting somebody out the way. Just as soon as a nigga hear a bitch say, them boy got it over there. Nigga can't overhear a bitch saying that. That nigga running to the goddamn phone. Don't envy the wicked. I don't know where the fuck I heard that from, but it always, it always stuck with me. Don't envy the wicked. But, back to the, the point of it all. Um, Adi Boom um, battles Big K. Big K comes with the paperwork, gives it out to the crowd in Lux fashion. When Lux battle clips, clips made a bet that if anybody can bring up paperwork of his daddy snitching, which was out... He, you know, you, it's bravado. You're on stage. You want to just rah, 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 and shit like that. And he put his foot in his mouth because he knew, everyone knew that, you know, who his father was. His father was the motherfucker that told and shit like that. Why in the fuck would you say that? But he said it in the, in the Rex battle. In, in, um, he said in the Rex battle, I got 10,000 if you um, can bring paperwork. Lux came to the battle, brought the paperwork, and people thought that was bullshit. Like, how the fuck is that bullshit? He made a bet. I'm showing you the paperwork. What the fuck? Where's the bullshit here? This is what battle rap has always, like, really been. Yes, we want to hear those bars, those bone-crushing bars, but a good angle kills a good bar every day of the week. A good angle? Nigga can ride a fake angle to the finish line on your stupid ass. Cause they gonna remember that angle. They're like they, they can feel that ball. Ten, they can feel that it's been so many balls that I've heard, but I never forgot, you know, that lost fucking <laughs> another lost nigga shit with Calico. Like I never forgot, you know, some of these angles that, you know what I'm saying? The the um recently um or not recently, the uh, the Reed and uh, the Reed and uh, John John, you know, 
where's the uh, the backpack? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> he made fucking read. He made read dollar say it's in the car and shit. That shit was crazy. Um, it's just angles, man. Like it, you gotta make moments. And um, so he passed the shout to the crowd. Passed out to the crowd, man. Everybody reading the shit and 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 you know you could think that it's, it's fake in the building, but then after that. You go online and you see, no, nah, this is really in here. That you testified, you gave a statement on your people. I give a fuck about, I don't give a fuck about testifying. I'm just letting you know about me. I don't give a fuck about testifying. The statement that was made. When we're co-defendants and we go inside this building, we look at each other, we nod our heads, it's understood. I don't know nothing. The issue is, we wait until we in cuffs walking into the building or the last glimpse we get at each other when we get handcuffed to do that nod. We need to do that nod when we first come off the porch, when we first decide we're going to trap with a nigga. But see, it, it still don't mean shit because when a motherfucker put 25 in front of you and, and push that goddamn, you know, and push this piece of paper to you like, I need it, my nigga. 25 on the line, it's your only way out. This is where the shit get real at. And and like I said, we can play battle rap games, but at the end of the day, this shit is in the, is embedded in the street. We don't support that. This is the whole reason. And we're, what we're looking at, what we're looking at right now is because battle rap and the hip hop, the industry, have always kind of mirrored each other. Kind of mirrored each other, you know. Rappers have favorite battlers, and you know, and and battle rappers use you know rapper angles and shit like that. And you, you, sometimes they, they merge. You know, Drake just did the thing with uh URL with the um fucking coffee caffeine shit. You know what I'm saying, and and Drake was supposed to battle Mook or some shit like that. Um, that was that was Sir's angle to, to move, like, you, you sniffing up his ass and shit, like, why wouldn't you sniff up Drake and that shit gonna take you to the moon, um, but Surf was trying to get a battle with move, um, but, um, as far as that goes, we're looking at how the industry is going to do Takashi 6 9 are they gonna exile him to where he can't make no money, no artist is gonna deal with him as fuck 6 9 or are, is it just business? And hey, it's just business. I'm doing a song. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with I. Like we have the paperwork. We saw it just like we saw it with Takashi. He fucking he gave the fucking statement. By you here. So I did booms his 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 uh his defense is I didn't say nothing about him. All I said was it wasn't me that shot. I'm going to go ahead and admit that, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I was there. Yes, I gave the Jamaican boys, but I ain't shoot no gun. I ain't have no gun. I don't know who had it, 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 it but it just wasn't me. I ain't telling on nobody, but shit, I know I know one thing. I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, it wasn't me. So now what you do is you take the option off the table for a nigga to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, my nigga, you just admitted that I was there. We're co-defendants. They've established that we were all there. Now the only thing they need to know is who the fuck had the gun? If we work together, and a nigga can say this though, well, if they, if they got established that we was there, how in the fuck are we going to beat this case? That's the motherfucking chaos an irrational fucking game that you walked into. You're inside of a game where a woman will be pregnant and she'll be trying to fuck for nine months pregnant and uh, she's uh, she's coming up ready to fuck for, come on my nigga, like we know what's going on. We know what's going on. When we entered the street, we understood that we were entering the twilight zone. What's down is up, what up is down. If I give someone's grandmother $50 worth of crack for free, I'm showing her love. That's love. She'll say, thank you, God, thank you, oh, you know, thank you so much, well, bless, thank you. Like I just saved a cat or, or saved one of her loved ones. 
this isn't a, you know, oh, yeah, everything like that. No, my nigga, this shit is fucked up. So you're not going to have the best of situations. This is how this whole shit was made. Trying to make the best of a fucked up situation when we should have said, hold up, just fuck all this shit. I'm not going to go deeper into the fucking hole. But, you know, no one knew nothing. So that's what it is. But if they have to prove what happened, man, they have to prove what happened. If they can't prove what happened, we lawyered up. Y'all put that shit together. We not putting a motherfucking thing together for you. Ain't no, yeah, man, you know, yeah, I'll admit it. I was in there. I was, yeah, it was me, Howard, and James. Yes, it was. So you're admitting it. Was, yes, it was us. We were in there. But I'm not, I didn't have the gun. We were there, you know, and, and yes, I was there to rob. And, you know, um, uh, but I didn't have a gun. I did get, I, I, I was the one who kicked the door. Yes. Me and Howard Phillips and, and, and that fucking, the co-defendant has said it. The one that got 15 years has said it. Yes, he sunk me. It was off his testimony. It was off of his, and your testimony is you copping out. Your sentence, by you admitting that, that was the tie that they needed. That was the tie that they needed. They can have little sparing, little sparing, they can have evidence and sparingly, sparingly pieces all over the place and shit like that. But if they can't connect it, we can walk out this bitch. It might take two years. It might take three years. They'll put that pressure down on us. But we have to know that when we out here free. That there will come a time when we gonna get arrested and we gonna be facing some big fucking time. We have to know when we jump off the porch that it's gonna come a time when you gonna have to put that iron on the nigga ass. That's the only way, niggas, you, you're not going to be able to walk through the street without shooting no fucking body. Without hurting no fucking body. You all going to have to go to jail. You're going to have to do time. When you jump off the porch, you should know, I'm going to have to do life in prison. I'm going to die in the street. If, as long as you have those things understood, it's all love. The nigga who think he ain't going to go to prison, the nigga who think he ain't going to die, that's the snake that you got to worry about. Oh, no, it ain't, ain't going to happen to me. How ain't gonna happen to you? Both of us is on the same fucking assembly line belt, assembly belt, heading to the fucking furnace. Ain't no way off this. How the fuck is you gonna get off? Oh shit, I got me away. Hold oh, on, my nigga. By the code, I got the book right here, dog. The code say we pose a live and die. By this code, and we're going to live and die in the street. We get a lot of hoes, have fun, drugs, sex, money. But we're going to, there it is, see right here on page 9. We're going to either be killed in the street or die in prison. There it is. The only way out of that is to get out of the street. We have to get off the assembly. How are you going to be in the street on the assembly belt but not face one of these fates? Right here on page 12, it say the only, only people who get out free and with their life is informants. Hey, yo, Trey, let me out, man. Let me out. Let me the fuck out, my nigga. If the nigga on side of you, if you in the street right now and the nigga on side of you is not planning on going to prison for the rest of his life or dying in the street, you need to get the fuck away from him. That's the only... Is he... Is he gonna get out the street? So he gonna keep... He gonna stay in the street, keep getting street money and getting all the good shit from the street but he not gonna have to face none of the bad consequences. And that's your nigga. Okay, we'll do it. So, you know, it's that type of shit, man. Um, so Ida Boom, he uh he definitely uh and that's the another thing, like, nigga, you wanna try to tell us and, and explain to us and, and goods did an interview trying to, you know, you gotta show the paperwork. He can't show no paperwork, the paperwork is shown. 
is shown. He killed my chances of getting off this case. And not only that, now, without him telling me what the fuck he was gonna do, I got 15 fucking years. That I gotta take to the door. See, see man, like I said, man, nobody takes this shit serious because it's not them. Everybody is just watching this shit for entertainment. But it's folks who got to live through this shit. And that's why I try to get in motherfuckers head. I don't give a fuck about details on any fucking story. I had a nigga, fuck nigga today, say, um, fuck did he say? Down syndrome isn't a disease. So I guess in the video I said something about a disease like Down syndrome. This nigga said Down syndrome ain't a disease. You think I give a fuck? I mean, I'm making an analogy so you can, I'm trying to paint it so you understand it because I know you're not no street nigga. Well, yeah, you know, actually, man, you know, it's, it's not really the, the play old plasma, it's not, it's not, it's not anything like the, the down plasma. Aceline, it's, you know, as, as a fan of me, it's, not, it's not anything like Fetter Kathleen. You know, I, I mean, my professor, he told me, come on, my nigga. I'm not trying to come into your world. You're trying to come into mine. You want to know why in the fuck a nigga killed the nigga. And you, to you in your eyes, he killed him for no reason. I'm trying to explain to you. you know, but it's, it's, you know. That that's that's something that you gotta you know that that come with the internet so you gotta you know deal with that also, um, but as far as it go, the the other side of this the other side of it, yes, Adi Boom definitely um, should not be allowed in anything, and he shouldn't be able. This is the the main thing here. He shouldn't be able to say anything about because in a big K battle he talking about street and and real and jail. You shouldn't say any of those words. You're not you you all you you killed all that when you signed that piece of paper and got your homeboys you know damn near twenty years because you broke under pressure you couldn't sit in that bitch and say we innocent we got you right here on camera we innocent we have it down you, you know your friend we innocent if you can't walk on blind faith. You shouldn't be with these people. If you can't go in the interrogation room and say we innocent, no matter what they say that they know, you know your girl. Uh, we know we got the phone taps and she, and then that's a whole nother. Now you hear them fucking. Ass. That was it. But you, you know what I'm saying? And now you in that situation. Now you gotta hear, you know, your nigga fucking your bitch, and like it's it's the betrayal. And now you gotta decide if that's worth your name. Because you lose your name. You can't testify and still have your name. Ali Boom. You can't do that. You can't get out of jail like that and then come and still have your name. It's over. You go get you a CDL. Go get you a welding license. Get the fuck out the way. You cannot keep your fucking, yeah, you know, goddamn, you know, I was in jail and shit. Like, my nigga, please. That was a gift they gave you. They gave you a gift. We're going to give you five years. You know it's a gift because your people damn near got 20 years. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. That's, that's the biggest problem. Niggas disobeying the street law and then coming back like, well, you know, shit, it ain't really goddamn, you know, it's a different because if you do it, 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 it shouldn't be no question. And that's why I can talk how I want to talk because I stood up in every situation. And and I we've already went over this in the in the past or whatever like that. But come on, my nigga, this is multiple times with me. Run-ins. Stood there. Innocent than a motherfucker, but co-defendant. And it's just it's nothing. I don't know what happened. Come on, man. Like I'm gonna run it just like that. Yeah, because when I and the issue come in when you do all that. The issue come when you do all that and you come home and they can't say nothing about you and shit like that, but motherfuckers still ain't showing love. 
motherfuckers still hating. The street code that you just sacrificed your, your life for don't show you no love back. Don't show you no love back. Instead, they show you hate. Because you think you the shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, the, just jealousy will kill all that. You know what I'm saying? So, but it wasn't about that for me. It was about my nigga, I've been, we, my brother. I can't, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. How can I, I can't do that. I could have went home. We innocent. So Lewis still says that you'll go home today. We ain't do nothing, man. I'm gonna try to get you to understand we ain't do nothing. I will, I will let him know. I was broke. I was saying I was broke. I ain't no fucking lawyer. I was. I, that's a public fucking defender. But that, that that took years of my life, though. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't get nothing in return except my name being attacked. Except my name being attacked. So when I walked out the street. A nigga couldn't say nothing. They can't say, I need to the street goddamn nigga. You should love the street goddamn for you simple goddamn. Couldn't say nothing. I left the street on my own accord. This shit don't work right. Hold on, my nigga. I didn't, you know, I didn't stood up. To, like, I didn't, I didn't pull myself all kind of way. And I, I don't feel like I'm being given the fucking... No, I can't. I ain't, we ain't going to where I can't. But it was just like, come on, my nigga. So I, I realized I was able, I got the blessing of realizing that the street was fake. It wasn't real. It was only there to destroy. Um, and it was a it was a mirage. It was an illusion. But I didn't have to sink somebody. I didn't have to put no, I didn't have to take a mother from her son for me to realize that. No one had to, to learn that lesson for me but me. I wear those scars. I will never get that time back with my children. But it was on me. No one else's name. And I wear that like a badge of honor because there's so many niggas that if they were in my situation either one of those times when not local police, feds came to me. I didn't have anything to say. When the when the deal was on the table, I pushed it back. If I'm if whatever I'm on, I'm on that. So if I'm in the street, I'm playing this thing. We're not like Folks say that death before this honor shit, but niggas don't really mean that shit. They don't really mean that shit. Niggas just say it because it sound cool, but if niggas went in that interrogation room, they would have did the same thing I did, and they would have thought they could explain it the same fucking way. My nigga, I, I'm going to miss my child's whole life because of you. Go explain that to my child. Go explain that to my daughter. That you didn't, you didn't, you didn't tell on, you didn't tell on us. You told on yourself. T tell her that. After you know, she had to be in the courtroom and see that the only thing that they had to convict me in my case was you, Mister Fucking Mister. I think that's his name, Green. Mister Green has already. Um, Copped out to it and let us know that he, him, Mr. Williams and Mr. Simmons were in that house. He's already admitted it wasn't him with the gun. Judge, uh, the state uh, advises to uh, treat both uh, Mr. Simmons and Mr. Williams as uh, the assailants with the weapon. 
uh, and you just a nigga in the system. You just a nigga in the system, and one of the niggas had already admitted, yes, I was there with Mr. Williams and Mr. Simmons, but I wasn't there with the gun. So you got to choose between them, but it wasn't me. And you don't have no, and you don't have no fucking sympathy in your heart. You don't have no motherfucking um, uh, regret in your heart, and you go on stage and rap about jail. That's why his verse didn't matter, cause it was air pack. It didn't mean shit, cause it was air pack. It was fucking lies. Jail and stand up. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Niggas is in prison. Gonna miss their whole fucking family life. Because you a faggot. You decided. You didn't. You chose to not show niggas that you was a bitch and tell you was in an interrogation room with the fucking police. Why the fuck you ain't show that when the fuck y'all kicked the door in? Well, shit, I'm a bitch, man. I'm a bitch. I ain't gonna kick the door, man, because I'm a bitch, man. Because huh? I know I ain't be able to stand up to no pressure. So, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. Just like a nothing ass bitch would. She didn't show you that she was a money-hungry gold digger until she got the baby in her. Well, really, you gonna know she is, but still, though, she chose. She didn't show you this evil person until after you had to be with him for 18 years or you was married to him. But the point... After all saying all that shit, as far as business goes, Ida Boom has the opportunity to make one more big check. And after this, so he's probably battling uh, E. Ness. Shut up! Uh, he's probably be battling E. Ness. My advice to him, it's probably a quarantine battle. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. But my advice to Adi Boone would be, don't take the battle. Go ahead and get you a big check. Everybody in the whole culture wants to hear what Adi Boone is going to say. If you waste that shit on this ENS battle, like, you're not going to get no big battle. Like, let them put you up against somebody like fucking, who's a fucking, Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti would be a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Not Tay Rock because he's disrespected. Maybe even Surf. Yeah, that would be a crazy battle because they said that you ghost read for him. That would be crazy. But say, because everybody wants to hear what you're going to say, how you're going to defend yourself. That bullshit ass freestyle you did, that was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my man stayed with me and shout out to Goods and show off, man. They stayed with me. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. That's gay as fuck. That's gay. You, you don't gotta deal with me because I know who I am. Like, come on. That's bullshit, my nigga. You told on, nigga, man. What the fuck you gotta say, my nigga? Nigga, slap the fuck out you, man. For that shit you got going on, man. Come on, man. Get your ass where the fuck you supposed to be at and go hide somewhere. Get the fuck away from street niggas. You've been dishonored. You cannot be in the street no more. And that's the fucking problem. We allow this shit, man. That's why these niggas feel comfortable enough to do shit like this. Snitches don't have to go anywhere else. They can come right back to the place where they snitched on niggas at. Because nobody gonna do shit. That's why I said, boy, this shit. Let me get the fuck around this bitch. Because... Following the street code, when a snitch come around, you're supposed to murder them. They're not supposed to be able to live. But not the street so twisted now, boy, a nigga will get you to do that, and then nigga tell them like it is is get the fuck out the street. You can get out now, or you can, you know, you'll find out. You'll find out. But I, my, my thing is this, at least get you one more check so you can go to CDL school, welding school, for a little, so get money to hold you over from your transition of from battle rap because you're not going to be a rapper no more. You're not going to be a battle rapper no more. Now people have a reason to hate on you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas in this rap game now, like 
people don't like rappers they don't know anyway. And as a battle rapper, you already have that fucking ceiling that they don't want to let you in that game because it's like, ah, oh, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, you rap good, okay, whatever. We don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, you're a battle rapper. You ain't come from the bottom. For some reason, it's just a fucking stigma on battle rappers. So you weren't going to go nowhere, nowhere with the rap shit. So just go ahead and just, you know, get you a big check. Fuck that Enes battle. It's not big enough. You need to, and you can have these like these um leads like at odds. Like it'll be a fucking bidding war. You know what I'm saying about you know, Adi Boom finally comes. Like it could be four months from now. You know what I'm saying? Like but don't say shit. Stop talking. You're killing your money. Stop talking. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Save all that for your final battle. They don't have to know it's your final battle, but you know it's your final battle. Nigga, you can say that shit at the battle. Like, nigga, fuck this rap. This battle rap shit is fake anyway. And get the fuck out of there. But don't waste this shit on E-Nest and, and give everybody all the information that they've been waiting on. Makes no fucking sense. Shut the fuck up. Get them folks their money back for the E-Nest battle. And then, you know what I'm saying, let this shit go down the line a little bit, and then motherfuckers start shopping about the battle. What I noticed about battle rap is, like, conversations pop up out of nowhere, and next thing you know, nigga, happened with the, the rap shit, too. Like, Ken, look how Kendrick Lamar just got thrown into this French Montana shit. Like, the fans would just say something, and now French Montana say something. Now, you know what I'm saying, like... That gives Kendrick Lamar a, a fucking takeoff point. Like, if he wanted to put a project out right now, he could. Because now it's like, oh, Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Like, so your name is going to come up. It's going to come up. It, they're not going to just forget about you. Whether it be, nigga, at the most, it'll be six months from now. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers are going to want to see what the fuck happened. Don't show the paperwork. Let everybody speculate. And get you a big bag so you can get the fuck wherever you're going to go in life. That's just what it is. I'm just telling you on a business level. That's the business side. Street side, you know. Come on, my nigga. No respect. You sunk niggas. Business side. Go ahead and get your last check. Get the fuck out of there. Because what you were. You were never supposed to be in the street. Just like a lot of these niggas was never supposed to be in the street. You got yours at 19. A lot of these niggas just have not been tested on that level yet. Nigga be 25 before niggas find out that he a rat. But he was really a rat the whole time. He was never a real street nigga. He was never that. He just needed an opportunity to show how much of a coward he was. Yours just came at 19. And a lot of niggas can't even say nothing to you because they would have done the same fucking thing. That's why you like you wear this shit like a badge of honor. When you've been battle tested multiple times. It's not about niggas that you... Because we all had to do that. We all had to do this. We all had to... You know what I'm saying? What did you do in the interrogation room? What did you do... Who don't give excuses? Who don't say, well, it wasn't really snitch because, you know, just... mama's, you know what I'm saying, looking at them like they the devil because they the ones who sent their child away. That's why you wear this shit like a badge of honor. These niggas getting death before dishonor tattoos and they ain't never been arrested. How in the fuck? Did, how, what the fuck? That won't say it, dog. Anybody can just be anything in the street. I had to get the fuck. But put more pain in than, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? Nigga can't really talk to me, like, you know what I mean? Grown man shit. Grown man shit. With no, with no local police on mine. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know what I mean? So... Uh, but yeah, so get your money, man, um, and get the fuck out, man. Just go on and get, get out of niggas' way. Uh, hip-hop and battle rap, which is a, a, a branch off of hip-hop, this is based in the street. It's based in the street. 
I don't give a fuck how many backpackers or how many. I just love the music. I don't give a fuck. Shit is based in the street, man. And we got we, somebody got to bring that shit back to that. At some point, we have to come back to that, to where it's some type of law, some type of standard, some type of reaper fucking cushions for going against what so many motherfuckers have given up so much for. Why did I believe in the code, but he didn't? Why wasn't I celebrated? And he damn near is. I don't feel like nobody would have made no excuses for me. It is what it is. It is what it is. Like I said, uh, you gonna meet who you need to meet in the street. And uh, it just probably won't be until you in the ground or you in a cage that you realize, you know what I'm saying, that it wasn't worth it. It never was. It never was. But, Big Fast Podcast, make sure you go to the Patreon. We got a lot of shit going on over there right now, especially with the um, the two new men, two cases. We got one guy who was with a white girl, and she beat him up in front of the police. We got the video of it on the Patreon. And we had a dude who met a girl online, and then in the car, and, and she's like, let me out the car on the interstate. And, um... He's not letting her out. I, I, I would assume because it's illegal. But I'm going to do an interview with them. And I want y'all to let me know what questions y'all think I should ask them. Um, go watch the full. You got to see the whole video so you can see what happened in those both those situations. Um, on the Patreon. And in the Patreon comments you can write your question. And we'll talk to them and ask them. Um, make sure you hit the PayPal. Cash out. Show love. I'll see you in a minute. Love, love. And I got a 